What's up, Michigan fans? It's Clayton Safey from the Wolverine.com here with five takeaways from Michigan's 59 to nothing win over UConn on Saturday. Number one, Michigan special teams unit led by coordinator Jay Harbaugh was spectacular. Senior Caden Colazar blocked a punt and junior A.J. Henning returned a punt 61 yards for a touchdown. That marked Michigan's first score on a punt return since Donovan Peoples-Jones returned one to the house against Nebraska all the way back in 2018. Henning is now just the fourth player in Michigan history with a kick return and a punt return touchdown in his career, joining an elite group, Steve Breston, Desmond Howard, and Dave Ramey. Before we get to our second takeaway, make sure to smash the like button on this video if you think Michigan will beat Maryland next weekend, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Number two, Blake Corum ties a major record. The junior running back rushed 12 times for 71 yards, and his five touchdowns tie the Wolverines' single-game record. He joins Ron Johnson, who punched in five scores against Wisconsin in 1968, and Hassan Haskins, who did so versus Ohio State last season as Michigan players to have five touchdowns in a game. Quorum scored three one-yard touchdowns and also scored from 20 and 11 yards out. Number three, the defense was locked down. Michigan pitched its first shutout win since 2019 against Rutgers and the fifth shutout during the Jim Harbaugh tenure. The first team unit allowed just 64 total yards in the first half, and UConn gained only 110 yards for the game. That's the least Michigan has given up since a 21-7 win over Michigan State in 2018. Michigan has allowed just 17 points through the first three weeks of the season, the fewest total points allowed in that span since the 2003 campaign when Michigan gave up just 10 points in the first three games. UConn starting quarterback Zion Turner completed just four of his 16 pass attempts for only 17 yards. As a whole, UConn averaged just 1.2 yards per pass attempt. Interestingly enough, Michigan did not have a sack, but the secondary was stellar in coverage. Number four, quarterback J.J. McCarthy's day wasn't flashy, but it was productive. The UConn defense sat back in a lot of cover four and cover two, playing off of the Michigan receivers, so McCarthy took what he was given. The sophomore quarterback, making his second career start, completed 15 of his 18 pass attempts for 214 yards. He routinely hit his receivers on screens and underneath routes, setting them up to run after the catch. In fact, 176 of Michigan's 273 receiving yards came after the catch, according to Pro Football Focus. Ronnie Bell led Michigan with seven catches for 96 yards, and Roman Wilson continued his hot start to the season with three grabs for 64 yards. The bad news for the Michigan offense is that senior quarterback Cade McNamara suffered a right leg injury after entering the game late in the first half. He took a pretty big shot while being pressured as he threw. All told, Michigan played eight quarterbacks in the game, seven of whom completed passes, and that could be an NCAA record. Number five, and finally, Michigan played over 100 players in the blowout win. Harbaugh has played over 80 players in every game during the non-conference portion of the schedule. Now the Big Ten play begins. It's time for Michigan to face some better competition. Despite winning convincingly for three straight weeks and ranking fourth in both the AP and the coaches' polls, Jim Harbaugh said he doesn't see any entitlement with his group. The Wolverines begin Big Ten play against Maryland at noon on Saturday at the Big House before traveling to Iowa the following week. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and head to thewolverine.com for more Michigan coverage throughout the week.